All right, Team SP here to do a custom soul protector install on the new infrared sixes. So we get your custom soul protector, infrared six. I got a cutting board, some scissors, an X-Acto knife, a pen for tracing, and a 1500 watt heat gun. So let's jump into the install. First, take out your soul protector. And the custom soul protector can really fit uh, size up to size 14, sometimes 15, depending on the shoe. The custom SP is sold in pairs, like all soul protector, and usually they are somewhat stuck together. It's 13 shoes, so you can see there's still a little room on the ends. Probably could go up to a size 14 Jordan on this, not have a problem. Uh, the one thing people like about the custom sole protector is that you can actually wrap some of it up the sides. So what I'm going to do here is I've got the outline of the shoe. I'm actually going to cut a little wider on the parts that are icy that I know that I want to have some excess to wrap up the sides. I see a really good benefit of the sole protector product that gives you the flexibility where you could wrap up the sides. Okay, so I've got my trace of the shoe. Probably tough to see on camera but I can see it it's just a small indent on the material so next take your exacto knife scissors will work as well and just start tracing remember I'm gonna come out wide so I can wrap some of it up the sides And all these materials are linked on our install page to Amazon. So you, if you want the same materials that we use, it's very, very easy to, uh, to purchase the same products that we recommend for installing. And the install, um, when you initially apply it, you can trim it after it's on. So it doesn't necessarily have to come out perfect when you trace it. Next, we've traced out the infrared six bottom here. Let's pull that out. Okay, so I know it looks a little funny right now. It's because we're gonna wrap it up the side. So you get your soul protector, dead stock pair of shoes. You can wipe these down if you would. So again, soul protector, it is um, like a giant sticker. Very, very high quality film here that we use. Our friends over at 3M really outdid themselves with our product and we're really excited to work with them. So when you initially put on the sole protector, just gets a nice base layer. Um, this is not really where it'll adhere. It's not until you blast it with a set of heat that the SP will really uh, do its thing. So there we got an initial base layer. I'm already seeing a couple areas where where I traced it just didn't come out as clean as I wanted. So what you can do is actually cut a small slit in the SP. That'll give it a little bit of room to play. And you'll be able to fold it up once you get your install on. Okay, so now. So again, Soul Protector, it is um, like a giant sticker. Very, very high quality film here that we use, our friends over at 3M really outdid themselves with our product and we're really excited to work with them. So when you initially put on the sole protector, just gets a nice base layer. Um, this is not really where it'll adhere. It's not until you blast it with a set of heat that the SP will really uh, do its thing. So there we got an initial base layer. I'm already seeing a couple areas where, where I traced it just didn't come out as clean as I wanted. So what you can do is actually cut a small slit in the SP. That'll give it a little bit of room to play. And you'll be able to fold it up once you get your install on. Okay, so now it's blasted with a set of heat. We recommend a 1500 watt Drill Master heat gun. Again, there's a link to one of these on Amazon. Um, so it's very easy to find. You can find them in a couple hardware stores as well. So, so initially start out with setting one and get a base layer going.
Around the heat, you can see the sole protector is starting to mold into the shoe. That's a good thing. Um, I like to start sometimes in the middle, just kind of work out the air bubbles like you would in like a screen protector on your cell phone. Start to wrap some of the material up the sides. You can see it's just sort of molding right over there. And don't worry, those creases, uh, we've got a trick to get rid of those if they persist. You can see some air bubbles trapped a little bit around the Jordan emblem. We have got a fix for that too, so we'll deal with that here in the next few minutes. All right, got a good base layer going. A second set of heat is going to be applied now. Work in the sole protector material. Sixes tend to get a lot of air pockets in the middle around that Jordan figure. Not a problem. We will work those out here as we continue to apply the SP. I really want to get the toe box area. You can see we cut it just a little extra so you can sort of wrap it up the toe. Um, with more heat, those little creases will work themselves out. The other thing you can do if you want, you can see there's a crease right there make a small slit you can work the SP right down and it will just blend right into the shoe it almost overlaps itself you can see we wrapped up the sides this time we want to protect the icy part here as well so again you can see it didn't lay completely flat let's make a cut a few cuts there that will just allow the SP to kind of overlay itself really give you a smooth install around the sides of the shoe Perfect. There's a couple more here. So again, just make a little slit. Nice thing with this material, it's really, really strong and it will not rip or tear beyond what you cut. So if you do end up wanting to make a little slit, don't worry, the, the cut won't run like it would if you were to cut a certain material, things like that. There we go, we got a pretty good install here on the side. The other trick you can do if you find that the SP has sort of pinched itself. You can actually just cut the pinch with your scissors and then with a blast of heat pretty much work itself right down. There we go. So that toe area is looking really clean with the sole protector. Again, just continue to work it in, work the front. Wherever you find that the SP isn't adhering as well as you want, all you need to do, apply more heat. And then just work in. Same thing. So wrapping up the sides can be a little tricky but it just takes patience when applying. You can see there it doesn't want to sit properly. So again, made a quick slice and the SP will just overlap itself. Same thing here in the back. They're applying heat, just working the SP. And then we'll come to the inside. So this, I'd say I didn't trace as well as I probably should have, so we'll clean it up just a bit with some scissors here.
see that just peels down pretty smooth. Here in the middle where it was cut a little extra, you can just trim that. Just work the material in. The SP is really starting to apply really, really well around the shoe. We got a clean seal on the edges. This is looking pretty good. Now the one thing with the sixes, as I mentioned, the Jordan emblem can get a little tough with air pockets. Uh, we showed you this trick before that you can actually make a slice in the SP to work out the air. I recommend doing it in a part where it's not going to be that noticeable. Um, or get affected when you walk in your shoes with the sole protector. So pick the back, just work the air out there, and apply heat. Now that hole that we made basically resealed itself with the heat, so nothing to worry about. Same thing here with the jump man. You can just work it down and around. And be pretty set. If you want to make another hole just to work out the air in the center. I'm just gonna puncture the SP just a little bit, work the air out, and apply some heat. And so there you have it. You have a clean install on the Infrared 6 using a custom sole protector. Now we do sell pre-cuts for the Jordan 6. So the one reason also why people will sometimes pick the custom sole protector is because there should be some extra material left over. What you can do is actually create your own mini heel drag kit for the uh, sole protector. It's pretty simple. You take the excess, trace the back of the shoe. Simply cut out your half circle. And this is the same type of instruction that it goes for our midsole and heel drag kits. You can apply sole protector product on top of sole protector product. Right there. Just apply an additional layer of SP. Really is great. Gives you a little extra wear and tear on the heel part. Can't hardly tell that there's two layers there. And then the last step is to blast it with some extra heat. As simple as that. So you got an extra layer of sole protector protecting your heel. Uh, again, we recommend heat guns. Hair dryers do work from time to time. The difficulty with hair dryers is there's just so much variety out there. It's difficult for the sole protector team to confirm whether or not a hair dryer will work. It just depends really on the heat and the design of that hair dryer. So, there you go. So, there's the Jordan 6 with a custom sole protector. Added on some extra layer for, to protect against heel drag, and those soles are going to stay icy.